Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you the color dialog. So, a dialog is basically something that pops up, provides some information, and maybe some options that you can select. And the color dialog, I'm pretty sure you can guess, it allows you to select colors. So, to add a color dialog, go to the toolbox and go to the dialog section. You can either search for it or go to all Windows forms. And there's a bunch right here, and I'll cover them all in separate videos. So color dialog, if I drag that on, it's my, my thinking, where did it go? It's down here. So that just means it's been added and you need some event to trigger it. So what we'll have is a button. And this button, when clicked, so when clicked, it will open this dialog. To do that, if we double click the button and go to here and just put color dialog one dot show dialog now if we run it click it there we go the dialog has appeared we can define custom colors you know this is just you know just normal windows dialog stuff and like for select yellow nothing happens because we're not doing anything with the actual color itself um, but we actually you know want to try and use that color so how could we potentially do that and there's like a few different ways that we can do it. So, you know, within here, so within, you know, the button click, what we can do is, uh, it's still running. So we can say, if color dialog one dot show dialog. And what we're going to say is, basically when the close button is clicked we'll be able to use that color for something so if i do windows dot forms dot dialog result dot cancel for you know the, you know different events if i do dot cancel then we'll run some bit of code so we don't need to you know have that anymore because this will trigger this what we're actually going to do is say that the button one dot color so dot let's say background color equals color dialog one dot color now if i run it let's see what happens if i click the button go click yellow click ok there we go it changes the color of the button so obviously that's just you know the color of the button but the principle is the same in terms of you you know i've shown you how to get the color what you apply the color to is totally up to you so go crazy thank you for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial but if you have any questions before then feel free to hit me up see you soon